Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Taiki, and today I want to talk about the cause of autistic people being alone from a psychological perspective. Coming up. So, there is a brain circuit called opioid system in your brain. There's a chemical called endorphin. You might have heard of it. Endorphins are produced when there's a pain anywhere else. So, if I slip, and hit my knee, there will be endorphins releasing to relieve the pain. So that's what endorphins do, but also it's like a comfort hormone. When someone touches us, when someone loves us, endorphins get released. Pretty much people are craving endorphins all the time. And the problem with the autistic brain is that we have too much endorphins. Our opioid system is overactive compared to other neurotypical people. So our brains think Oh, I've got too much endorphins already, so I don't have to interact with others to increase the amount, so there's no need. That's what happens, typically, with autistic people. I'm not saying that every autistic person ever has lack of desire to be with someone else. I'm not saying that, but typically, you see in autistic people, which are loners, because of the opioid system is overacting. That's the explanation from the brain perspective. But also, there could be other causes like autistic people have difficulty with interacting with people, they have a harder time telling other people's facial expressions, including myself. And uh, you know, autistic people tend to be very monotonous when they speak. They sound very monotoned. So people around the autistic person have some confusion towards us. They don't know what, what we are speaking, what we are talking about, what we are feeling. That makes them very anxious. You know what happens? If a person makes you anxious, then you will stay away from them. So autistic people are not might not be trying to be alone sometimes. But as a consequence of their traits, they are alone. That might be the case. There's a brain perspective and there's the external causes that are causing those autistic people to be loners. And I will say I'm affected by both because when I was children, <laughs> when I was a kid, I never had a clue on how to interact with people, leaving me as the last one to be paired with. I belonged to a baseball club when I was in third grade. We would play catch ball during the practice. I was the last one to be picked by anyone. Everyone was like, oh, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. But I was like, I don't know what to do. And I would be the last one. So I would play with the coach, which was not the most pleasant memory of my childhood. But when I, when I grew older, like now, I'm like 22 years old now, I was okay with people not being around me. I was always be satisfied. I never went out to look for girls or future girlfriends, wives, whatever. I never had a problem with that, being alone with myself. Because, you know, I found so much, so many plain things, fun things to do. Just like I'm doing YouTube. I'm doing a business, vegan apparel business. I'm doing a guitar, I'm doing anything that's satisfying. So everyone says you have to get a partner to become happy. But I strongly disagree with that because not everyone is going to be blessed with some affections like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's why some of these people are loners and they prefer to be alone. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. So some of these people are not really reactive to pains including myself. So I give blood all the time. Here's a picture of what you can get if you give blood in Japan, which is incredible, right? Fan, a blanket, cool back, refrigerating back or something like that. Yeah, a bunch of stuff you can get. So I highly recommend that you do and you can get free drinks, you can get infinite tea, you can get infinite coffee and everyone is going to be very happy that you arrived because not so many people give out blood these days. But anyway, so I'm not really sensitive to pain. And uh, researchers suggest that it's because, just like I said earlier, the endorphins in our opioid system of our brain, the circuit, is quite high in autistic brains, which is just relieving pain all the time. That That's a great hypothesis that they're suggesting, in my opinion. I found those traits very interesting. What do you think? And uh, one more thing that I want to address is that it's possible to be happy even when you're alone. Just have some fun. Don't get discouraged by the external environment. People might tell you to get married, have a partner, get a life, something like that. But as long as you're having fun with your life, I think it's fine, whatever you do. It's always fun to look for something fun in life, right? So make the best out of your life. Life is too short to be caring about what other people think. So thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Until next time.